335 horsepower Infiniti M45 Sport. Under the hood of the M45, you'll find Infiniti's 4.5 liter V8 engine. This engine produces 335 horsepower. Great amount of low end torque, ton of high end horsepower. This car is equipped with the Infiniti M45 Sport package, 19 inch wheels, sport suspension, different steering. The car feels much, much more alive than the more mundane uh, non sport uh, variants of this car. Just want to take a walk around this car and emphasize the overall condition of it, which is gorgeous, and uh, give you a just the insight on some of the features that make the M45 Sport the Sport model. Uh, we'll start on the front end here. Uh, I really don't have much to talk about. Everything's in great condition. The hood is blemish free. Uh, everything looks wonderful. The bumper, really in great shape. Obviously a couple stone chips. I think any car uh, you know, that has miles is going to have a couple stone chips in the clear coat. Uh, there is a chip right here uh, in the paint that looks like uh, probably from a little bit broader rock there. But uh, that is the only blemish to note on the front of the vehicle. This is more of a blacked out uh, setup here for the headlamps. Uh, that is part of the sport package, but you can see a darker surround uh, inside the whole setup there. Uh, Xenon headlamps, and they also have a cornering feature, which means the, the lights will actually steer through the curve uh, at night. It's pretty amazing. Just to emphasize, especially when shopping the M45s, these, these cars tend to have the wheels torn up very, very easily, and it's kind of a darker titanium finish. All four wheels on this car are in gorgeous shape. We put a brand new set of Falcon tires on here. Uh, they're size 24540ZR19s. So because they're brand new, they're dead quiet, they handle great. The suspension on this car is definitely much tighter than the base variants, especially with the, uh, you know, the X models uh, and the 35, the smaller V6 model. Uh, it really does change the characteristics uh, driving this car. Let's take a look at the lines on the side of the M45, as well as the overall condition of the car. Got a small drip here, freshly washed, but uh, Nothing to speak of. Again, rear wheel and tire, brand new tire, wheels in excellent condition. Now this particular car was a, a two-year Infiniti lease. Uh, it was a two-year lease turn-in. Now these window tints here, uh, these were put on by the original owner of the car. Uh, they're a pretty medium. If you want to get low, you can actually see pretty well through the car, so they're not very dark, uh, but they definitely add to the, the car. The exterior color is Umbria Gray. Uh, if you've seen any of my M35 Umbria Gray videos, you know that the M35 Umbria over bourbon, which the interior is in this car, is my favorite color combination. And knowing this is the 45 Sport, you really can't do better in my mind than this particular car. Let's take a look around uh, onto the back of the car. You see the rear bumper. A uh, little, looks like just a little uh, spot here from contact. Somebody loading something into the trunk, uh, perhaps. Uh, proper M45 badging, uh, indicating that the car is equipped with the 4.5 liter V8. Pop the trunk here for you. Obviously a very, very large trunk. Uh, in here you will find the full set of Infinity books, the front plate frame from the car for anybody that chooses to install that, and a unused uh, trunk net. These do come with a, uh, a net that sets up in here and uh, has not been used. Once again, looking down the passenger side as well, overall nothing to talk about as far as nicks, chips, blemishes, dents, scratches. Just a very, very well kept, very lightly driven, and well loved Infiniti M45. I have the remote key fob here with me. Uh, this does have a actual key inside. Should you get locked out, you can unlock. Uh, you know, you can unlock the door with that key. But as long as you have this in your pocket or somewhere on you, um, I'll put it in my pocket for now. You can use this button to access the car. Right now, the car is locked. Uh, I'm going to walk up to it again. I'll hit it once. Unlocks the driver's door. Hit it again and I got all four unlocked. So all I have to do now is get in, put my foot on the pedal with no key, and press the start button. The car will fire itself right up. Just to give you a brief tour of some of the really neat features that the M35 offers, uh, you've got a power tilt and telescope steering wheel over here. This will power up and down to come out to you. Uh, you have automatic uh, headlamp settings for the Xenons up front. Uh, as well as that adaptive steering feature that they have for the lights. Uh, that is defeatable if you should so choose to turn it off by switch over here. I don't know why you'd need to. Uh, vehicle dynamic stability controls over here, VDC. You just hit that button uh, to turn it off. It's automatically on every time you start the car. Uh, you have a lane departure warning system as well. 
Uh, it's just activated by a button down here, but that is automatically on when you start. Uh, it's got sensors on the outside of the car, and what that does is it tells the basically tells the computer when the car is starting to drift into another lane. It'll read the data. Um, there's a camera mounted up here as well that assists, but we'll talk more about that with the adaptive cruise control. You have a rear, uh, reverse camera here, just to show you the top here. You can see a clear picture of what's behind us. Put it back in the park. Our movie pops right back on. There's a DVD player in this car that can play right through the navigation screen here. Uh, you can see we got Airplane, in, an absolute classic. Uh, all of your temperature controls are here. You've got dual zone, driver and passenger. Go ahead and uh, hit auto and you just dial up whatever temperature. It shows you right on the screen here where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. Right here is basically the whole entire uh, operation system for the navigation screen here. You do have a navigation system built in. It's satellite navigation. There is a DVD drive in the glove box. This is where you mount it right in here. As far as the radio goes, you have an incredible stereo. This is a Bose 14 channel surround sound. Uh, it's 7 channel surround, I'm sorry, there's 14 speakers within the car. But it's basically set up to optimize the sound of the DVD system. So you can get a digitally encoded DVD and it's uh, it sounds incredible in this car. It really just truly sounds incredible. Right here you have a 6 disc CD changer. Right above that you have the Infinity Signature Clock. Uh, just to show you some of the functions on the steering wheel. Over here you have uh, some radio functions as well as a voice control feature. Press that button you can enter any voice command you need. This is your cruise control function, but the cruise control is pretty particular on this car. Uh, part of the technology function is adaptive cruise control. Uh, once I, sorry about that. <laughs> once I hit this button it'll, it'll activate the cruise control. This will set a particular distance. Now the camera mounted up here and the radar beam in the front bumper as we saw in the walk around work in conjunction to gauge the distance of this car and the one in front of you. So if you set a 70 mile an hour cruise speed, you can actually... Um the adaptive cruise control function on this car, turn the cruise control on, you can see illuminated in here. Uh, you've got something here that will gauge the distance between yourself and the car in front of you. Now you've got a camera mounted up top here in the headliner. And you've also got a radar beam mounted in the front bumper of the car uh, that helps the cruise control determine your speed, uh, your intended velocity, and also uh, if the car should slow down or brake. Um, if you get into an emergency situation, the car will actually beep back at you and say, uh, driver intervene, and will basically ask you to uh, take the pedals back over. But all you really have to do is set a uh, speed and let the radar uh, beam in front of you uh, manage the uh, distance between you and the car in front of you. Uh, so you essentially don't have to touch any pedals when you're uh, doing some cruise control managed highway driving. Set so the cruise here at 45 miles an hour. The camera's already recognizing that there's a car in front of us, this uh, truck here itself, so it's keeping me slow here. Uh, I'm only registering about uh, 38 miles an hour even though I'm set at 43. So what I'll do is I'll signal over into the next lane and the radar automatically keys in that uh, I am not uh, in tune with that uh, truck anymore falls out of my radar beam and the car accelerates around it. It's a pretty incredible system. Um, on the flip side, uh, let me accelerate a little bit here. I'm going to go up to 50, but uh, when you get behind a car that's uh, going slower, the brakes will automatically go on. And it looks like I may run on a road here. So I'm going to use this uh, Galant here as my point of uh, reference. and. Uh, slow us down pretty pretty remarkably here. So we just slowed from uh, 30, I'm sorry, from 55 to 35 and I have not touched one pedal. Pretty incredible. Just to show you some of the unique features of this car versus some of the others, you'll see the, uh, the M45 Sport has a little bit of a, uh, a two-tone trim that goes to the seats here. But uh, great seats, perforated leather. These are heated and air-conditioned, uh, both front seats as well. You've got the Infinity embroidered right in the backrest there. And you'll also find the Bose sound system speaker covers uh, right at the top of the backrest. And also your obligatory power moonroof, which you should have in any luxury sports car.